By popular demand in this video, I'm going to show you a couple of updates on products that I have recommended on my channel, how they are holding up today. Car foam gun it was specifically designed to be able to wash your car or your motorcycle in my case. Um, the quick way, very easy to use, attaches to your hose, uh, you put solution over here and then you could wash your motorcycle, the nastiest things fall right off of it. Yeah, for those interested, I'm going to put a link at the bottom of the video for it. So we're going to switch it to zero, which is no foam. Uh, let's see what's going to happen. It's uh, already, you could see that the stuff is falling off the bike because it got soft. Uh, if you don't have a pressure washer, this will work really, really well. I do have a pressure washer sometimes when I have more stubborn stuff. I use the pressure washer, but this is going to be more gentle on the paint and stickers and stuff like that. So definitely an option. So for those people that are asking how does it work, um, how is it holding up, um, I still recommend it. I'm going to put a link at the bottom of the video for those interested. Let's give some pressure treatment to my Yaris. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, that is foamy. You know what? It's going to look like a Ferrari once I'm done. Oh, Just my Sakura cheap replica of the handguards that cost only 30 something dollars. How are they holding up after a couple of crashes? <laughs> Testing handguards. There you have it. Not only they don't bend when you crash, they don't even move. <laughs> so testing the knee guard, the, the hand guards, test completed. So these are her best, most stable um, hand guards I've ever had. So for 30 something dollars, I'm going to put a link at the bottom of the video, totally worth it. For those interested how the Acerbis knee guards are holding up, I do have a couple of things to say. These are not as perfect as you think, but they work really, really well for the money you pay for. E-start. That's why you buy it. I think I paid $40 for them on Amazon. I'm going to put a link at the bottom of the video. And they are pretty good for $42. Yeah. But, they can have a couple of little problems here and there, uh, I'm going to show you real quick. The straps don't have any Velcro on them, and because they don't have any Velcro on them, if you just wind them out through this little uh, connector over here, they have the tendency to slide out. So what they do is they just loosen up throughout the ride. Uh, what I have done is I've put a zip tie over here on it to just hold them together into a place. You could put Velcro on it if you want to have it more fancy, but for me the zip tie works really, really well. So uh, that was one of the downsides of it. And another thing that's quite annoying is the way that the uh, um, straps come off. So you're supposed to push from the inside and it finds its own uh, way through this little keyhole over here. Well, it not always finds it. So uh, sometimes it's hard to, to take them off uh, this way. Uh, what I've discovered is that I actually put my foot through it uh, with the straps on when I put them on. So um, I just don't bother to take them off. Um, otherwise, the hinges work really, really well. Nothing broke on the hinges. Um, they're very, very durable. The, uh, the material in it is very, very good. Nothing came off, nothing broke off. So um, everything else is really, really good on it, except uh, these two little things that are more annoying than uh, anything else. I also made a little mod to it, which is not the brilliant, most brilliant idea I ever had. I put a little hook over here, and then this hook is specifically designed to sit on the booth so uh, they don't slide down on your foot. Uh, it works really, really well for me, but it destroyed the top of my boot. Um, so um, my boots are really, really old and I never really came up with a better idea, but all knee guards, all knee braces have a tendency when you're riding to, to slide down and this definitely stops it. The only problem is that um, it kind of like destroys the boot a little bit. So if you have a better idea, let me know. What about the clever lever system that I put on these bikes? You know, the reduction uh, system for the uh, lever. It's a very, very simple design. As you can see, there are two cables inside. So when you pull on your lever, you're reducing the pull on the cable. So this goes at the end of your lever, and this is gonna go through, your, this is gonna be your cable. And what happens is that when you pull on the top, it's a lever system. 
and it's quite clever. Surprisingly, it works really, really well. Every time I get on a different kind of a bike, I've noticed right away how heavy other people's clutches are. Clutch, it's, it's heavy. I'm already starting to feel it because I'm, I'm, I'm basically playing the clutch all the time, and oh, my hand is it's done. A very heavy clutch. Uh, first thing I've noticed, very, very heavy clutch compared to my Yamaha. So far it has 100% functionality, 0% failure. It feels really, really good, like the first day I put it on. I love it on the DRZ or on the uh, YZ. So for those people that uh, haven't seen my video, it's quite worth it. I really, really think that it makes a huge difference on the way that the, uh, the cable feels on a dirt bike. If you have a hydraulic, I'm sure there is a clever lever system that you could put in there, but this will not work. And the last item I'm gonna show you in this video is this um, armor. This is made by AXO, and um, I have this armor for quite a while now. Maybe I, I'll go three years on it, and nothing broke. It's one of the most strongest armors I've ever had. I had the Chinese ones, you know, the ones that look like Fox, and the Fox armor, and those never really lasted, but this thing is rock solid even today. The only problem that I had with it is uh, here at the bottom of the um, elbows, uh, it literally broke off from how many times I crashed. So basically the material worn out, but the plastic is still rock solid. So what I've done is I put a couple of zip ties to hold it together and that's it. Um, but yeah, three or four years out of it, it's holding up pretty good. because I'm burning grass so I guess we're not lost anymore oh there's the wash
because this bike feels to me uncrushable. It just feels uncrushable, this bike, man. It just doesn't want to let go. Like, it just still hangs on tightly.